Welcome back everybody for another episode of My Pagan Pal Crafts and Such, the channel where you can find pagan related crafts and such. I'm Bella Rosa, that's my magical name in case you're wondering, and for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere preparing for the Autumn Equinox, here are three decor ideas to help you celebrate. So check it out. First up are these tri-scale candle holders. Everything you'll need for these projects will be listed below. Outside I put down some newspaper, grab some rubbing alcohol, and clean the candlesticks and then I sprayed them with three coats of spray paint. While they dried, I used my Triskill template that I printed out on a five x seven index card. This design is listed below as well. I cut it out using an X-Acto knife and a cutting mat to protect my table. Next, I placed a manila folder on my cutting mat to catch all this glitter I'll be using. Then with this glassware I bought from the dollar store, I played around with the placement of the template. Once I was satisfied, I cut it down to a more manageable size. Next, I prepared a plate of glitter and Mod Podge, and then I taped my design to the glass. I used a piece of foam from an old jewelry box, dipped it into the mixture, and dabbed the glass, making sure only to use patting motions and not wiping motions. And then I gently removed the template to reveal this awesome design. I was worried that the shine of the glitter would be a little dull, so I poured more glitter over it and cleaned it up with some Q-tips. I repeated this for the other sides and used different plates for each color and a new part of the foam as well. Now I recommend making more than one template per color because after a while the template becomes overloaded with glue and glitter and it doesn't look that great. But with some patience and q-tips the end results are still really impressive. After everything was dried I went back outside and used E6000 to apply it to two candlesticks and placed them together making sure they lined up. Then I put more glue and put the finished glasses on both candlesticks. I allow them to dry outside because that stuff is really stinky. The next day I used a combo of dollar and craft store faux fall leaves to decorate the candlesticks. To make it easier I began to attach the leaves together and glued them one by one using a base leaf and then a larger red leaf and then two small maple leaves and then I topped it off with a yellow leaf. I repeated this until I had enough to cover both of my candlesticks. I attached three of them to the larger candlestick and then filled the gaps with other leaves. I decided to add some gold leaves because it just wasn't shiny enough for me. I did the same with the smaller candlestick but just trimmed the gold leaves down and there it is, the first completed project, not too shabby. Moving on to the Mabin wreath, yes I said Mabin, that's the way I was raised to say it, every family is a little different. I started with the focal point which was the sign, I took some good old Mod Podge, poured it over the whole wooden palette, spread it evenly and dumped glitter all over it and once it was dried, though the glitter is still transferable, I covered it with one coat of Mod Podge and when that was dry I took these sticker letters that I picked up from Walmart and placed them on the wooden palette. So cute. Then I used some spray paint to evenly coat one layer on the palette and while that was still tacky I removed the stickers with my fingers by just lightly tapping on the letters and peeling them off. Once it dried I added a broomstick that I made from some of the autumn decor and used this weird web leaf I got from the Dollar Tree to decorate the broomstick. After that I just decided to play around a little bit with the decorations to see how I wanted everything to look. Next, to create this ribbon design, I took two pieces of ribbon and folded it over itself five times, keeping each fold about five or six inches long, pinched the center, attached it using a twist tie, opened it up, and this cute little puffy little pumpkin was revealed. I glued some burlap off-centered onto the wreath, and then I snuck in a leaf to be glued down before I moved on to the orange ribbon, which I placed over the existing burlap. Then I glued down my finished sign. Now I tried to make sure that similar colors weren't right on top of each other and that the whole wreath just was packed with goodies. This is the harvest after all. After that I took more orange ribbon, made a loop around the top of the wreath, glued it down, and then stapled it for more security. 
For the last project, I made this pentacle foil mat from my coffee table. I printed this pentacle template out and on the back, I traced the areas that would be cut so I wouldn't ruin the actual shape. I used an X-Acto knife to make my cuts and after that, I took a large piece of felt and placed my template on it, centered it, and then I taped it down. After that, I took white acrylic paint and started to paint using the same dabbing techniques I did with the candlestick. I followed this up with a layer of gold metallic acrylic paints, and while it was still wet, I removed the template to reveal this. Wow, how cool is that? Next, I took a bunch of fall leaves and just started to layer and glue them down. Really, there's no way to go about this just follow your intuition. I did this until it was completely covered with crazy fall leaves. Towards the end, however, I did discover that the paint bled through the mat, so be sure to use some newspaper to protect your work surface. For the finishing touches, I trimmed some of the leaves that were covering parts of the pentacle, and now you have a pentacle mat to add to your fall decor. Anybody out there gives one of these decor ideas a try, I want to see it. Make sure you post it up on my Instagram. You can find a link to it in the description box below. And if you like what you saw here today and you want to be kept up to date on the latest episodes, then become a Pagan Pal. Subscribe now, like up this video, and I'll see you next time for another episode of My Pagan Pal Crafts and Such. Bye!